Hi guys, in today's video I will show you what is the best way on how to export a 3D model from Revit and how to place it in 3ds Max. My best advice is which formats to use and this is really useful when you're working here in Revit doing changes for your client and then you would like to make uh, visualization in 3ds max and there are constantly changes and uploads from coming from the clients which is a really typical uh, workflow in architectural practices so check this out stay with me and uh, I'll show you my best tips and advices so here we go here in Revit I have a sample this sample scene um, first of all we need to export here FBX just to say, if you're in a floor plan, if you go to File, Export, this option is locked, FBX. That's why you need to go to the 3D view, here from the house as well. From every view, you can go straight to the 3D perspective, then go to File, Export, FBX. Now you can see it's not frozen. Um, click Export FBX and save it. I just made some um, tests over here and I'll overwrite it. You can choose 2015, it's fine and just keep the default options. Press save. Yes, I would like to replace it. It takes a while, it depends on the size of your project. If you have uh, many objects in your scene, especially plumbing fixtures uh, which have they have a lot of polygons if you have uh, entourages people or cars they are high poly objects usually and it's going to take longer then let's jump into 3ds max here i have an empty file i'll expand the perspective view by pressing out and, and w go to file import we have few options over here I will choose link FBX. I will show you later on why. And then I will select my file, press open. So the default setting is do not combine combine entities. I will choose this one for now and I will show you why this is not the best one and which one from here from these options to choose. Okay, let's let me show you this one first. Attach file. It takes a while. And here you can see, I'll press no for the daylight system. Here you can see if I press Ctrl and A, select all of the objects, I have 384 objects, which is a lot. And if you have a huge building with a lot of millions, here you're going to have um, a lot of um, objects and a lot of pivot points and this is going to slow down the work in 3ds max that's why uh, I'm not recommending to use this one let me go to file reference and manage links and I will detach this file from here, files, detach. You can't delete it. I'll press yes, okay. And after a moment, let me show you now the best option. Why? Uh, go to file, import, link FBX, choose this one, open, and then choose combine by Revit material. Attach files. According to my experience, this is the best way, the fastest way to work because um, the building in this case is going to be split by materials, uh, meaning that you have, let's say, 20, 30 objects for this small house um, and you can texture them really fast and create super fast rendering. Let me show you now, if I press Ctrl and O and select all of the objects over here, 
we have only uh, 49 entities. Further on, why I chose to link the FBX and not to import it and not some uh, of the other options? If the client comes and say, okay, I would like to have this wall longer like this or I would like to switch this window or that window or whatever changes they prefer. Let me show with this wall. Then you can make the changes, the revisions, go again, export the FBX, overwrite it. Yes, yes. And after this thing is done, you can jump straight away to uh, 3ds max press x this is a second option to find the menu type manage links choose this menu go to files and now you can see here we have another sign with red flag meaning that the fbx has been um, updated or changed press reload here I'll just keep everything like this, even though if you're having already set lights and daylight uh, V-Ray lights, let's say, or some 3ds Max native lights, in 3ds Max you could turn these things off and press OK and pay attention here to the wall. In a moment, let me close this. Voila! Everything that has been changed here in Revit now it's applied here in 3ds max as well if you like these tips from my experience so far please consider to support us in patreon like or subscribe this video this is how you you can apply all of your changes and uh, client wishes for everything and since um, we pressed split by material you can see everything here we have just the grass roofing metal and, and further on if you set some of the materials here in Revit they're going to and export again the FBX import it reload it here in 3ds max everything is going to be uh, updated as well according for the material as well further on another tip um, let's say if the developing process uh, for the architecture is done and there are no more changes expected and you would like to just keep improving your rendering in 3ds max then you can go and import let's say this geometry because as i, I as i mentioned before i can't delete this geometry if I press delete nothing is happening over here if I go here and um, delete the object as well nothing is happening it's frozen because it's linked how to import it just go to manage links as well by X manage links or file references manage links and you can press the bind button it is asking whether you're sure, proceed with the bind. Now you have everything imported in 3ds Max and you can change it or remove it. You can change it here. But the link between both programs, it's not working anymore. So pay attention if you bind a project. If you have any tips or suggestions or comments from your experience let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now